Have you ever seen a crap before? Yes, you have seen a crab before, most likely. Have you ever seen a crab that's as big as your cat? This is the coconut crab. Even Charles Darwin called it monstrous. Coconut crabs have got a bad reputation because they've been seen killing birds and kittens. Coconut crabs have got a bad rep in the past because they've been seen killing kittens and birds. Aside all of that, coconut crabs are actually very interesting creatures. Coconut crabs are massive. Their leg span is about one meter. And they weigh about four kilograms. They're the biggest land invertebrate on Earth. They geologically reached a size limit for arthropod. If you want to find coconut crabs, you're going to have to travel far. They're only found in the Indian Ocean in the South Pacific Ocean. Large populations live in the Cook Islands and Christmas Islands. Where they live, it goes nicely with what they eat, coconuts, but that's not what all they eat. They are surprisingly great climbers to climb their trees to get their coconuts. Their favorite foods are mostly fresh, fleshy fruit. But coconut crabs will eat poisonous fruits, like sea mangoes, putting toxins in their body. And it makes the crabs poisonous to humans. Coconut crabs have the powerfulest claw grip in the animal kingdom at about 1,500 newtons. How do they get to their coconuts? First, they pull out the outer fibers, which may take days. Then, they put their legs inside the holes, and that will make it easier to break the coconuts. Mostly vegetarians, coconut crabs will eat anything they can get their claws on. They have no known predators besides humans and other coconut crabs. In one gruesome case, a coconut crab was seen eating a red-footed booby, climbing up this tree. Then, it broke one wing, and then it broke the other. And then the smell of blood made 20 others come, finishing it off. Coconut crabs actually have great sense of smell for crustaceans. The mom will release them on high tides. They'll be plankton for about a month, fully dependent on high currents for movement. Once they're a little older, they go to the bottom of the sea and find abandoned seashells to live in for a little while. Once they're about a year old, they'll lose the ability to breathe underwater and stay on land. We actually don't know when they stop growing. It's believed to be about at the age of 40, but some signs say they can keep growing till they're 120 years old. If you enjoyed that video, I want you to subscribe to this channel and comment down below if you have any suggestions for me. I'll be waiting.